So you telling me it's people out here with demon face syndrome? You are telling me a man went to the authorities. He went to get help because he was seeing demon faces and y'all made it a syndrome? What level of y'all playing in our fucking face are y'all trying to pull right now? So 59-year-old Victor Shara is the person from Nashville who first reported these symptoms of seeing demon faces and they went ahead and made this very weird depiction of what he might be seeing but something tells me that depiction might be off he says he just woke up and was sitting by the couch watching tv when his roommate came into the room and he was looking at him and what he was saying in his head was what am i seeing then his girlfriend walked in and her face was the same he went on to say each one of those familiar faces had a grotesque grimace elongated eyes and deep deeply etched scars and when turning to the side pointy ears suddenly appeared and he said much like those of spock the vulcan first officer from whatever star trek who cares he said he went on and tried to explain to the same people that he just saw turn into demons he tried to explain to his roommates what he was seeing and they thought he was not then he later went to the doctor and they said i got it he's got demon syndrome y'all why couldn't they just say it was like hallucinations why couldn't they say it was like an underlying issue like any other disease right where you see things you see figures but child went out and called it demon syndrome they want us to believe that seeing demons in people that we once knew is a syndrome so that the more that starts to become reality the more that starts to unveil they can say oh you've got demon syndrome we've got something for that and give us something to make us fucking back mind numb which we aren't anymore they try to ban tiktok so we can't talk about stuff like this and here we are with cnn coming through with one of the wildest articles yet now i know that there are aliens walking among us because the news is trying to convince us that there's a disorder that's going around and making people think that they see creatures or beings that look like that that is not a disorder that's a damn alien that's an alien that's an elf creature or something from underground it's not a human being there's no disorder that's like making you see a, a distorted face called PMO and you don't see any distortions in anything else it's just on humans that's what they said you, they don't see it on any other animals or anything it's just humans the disease is linked to only humans that is not a thing and i had no idea these creatures were walking among us but now i do the news just the news told me now i know what people have been meaning when they say that the veil is coming undone and we're we're able to now see these aliens living among us they're out there now i, I just found out about it i did not know about this before but now the news is trying to convince me that there's some disease. There is no disease. These things are actually around here somewhere. And you know what? I'm going to fucking run into one of these things at the grocery store and I'm going to start a fight. Everyone's going to think I'm crazy or something. I don't know. It wouldn't be 2024 without a new sickness or syndrome. Great news. There's a new syndrome out there called the demon syndrome. And what's so weird is it's on so many different news platforms right now scientific term is prosopometamorphopsia say that three times fast so there's only 75 cases huh well i think i'm gonna be number 76 hear me out we've all seen what happens to beyonce when she starts shaking her head huh yeah or the weird shit that happens at concerts and in hollywood people take photos and they're just distorted or are they Maybe you're just catching what you're supposed to be seeing. Not to mention every concert you're at today is like a first class ticket to hell. Portals on portals. Boy, they love them portals. Everything doesn't have to be a syndrome or disorder. What if they're gaslighting the fuck out of you because you're about to start seeing weird shit? It's like the movie they live with Rowdy Roddy Piper, you remember? He'd put the shades on and see people for what they were. What's your problem? We are already in hell, so I don't find this too far-fetched at all. It's only March. It's literally only March of 2024. How much more shit can we go through? So I seen a video of this girl talking about this man that said he seen demons on his roommate face and on his girlfriend face. He said that he was sitting on the couch and when his roommate walked in the room, his face started to change. And then when he turned to the side, his ears started getting long. And then when he seen his girlfriend, his girlfriend face started to change to a demon. And then when he go to the doctor, 
get what they say. Demon face syndrome. Let me tell you something. The dark spiritual world is wide open. The one that got eyes, you can see. That man's eyes was open. God will reveal the demons to us. So we can tell people. These demons are living inside the flesh of these people. When you go to the doctor, they call you crazy. Let me tell you something. These people know what's going on. They want you to be used to seeing demons as it's being normal. It ain't normal seeing a demon in somebody's face. I seen it. But when you see something like that, don't tell no doctor. The only one should know is you and God. If you do tell somebody, make sure you tell somebody that know about that kind of stuff. Make sure you talk to somebody that knows about spirituality, the spiritual realm, and demons and all that. Because right now, this year going to be the darkest year you've ever seen. Go look it up. It's a man in Tennessee. Went to the doctor. They said a demon face central. So when I see a demon, I'm crazy, right? No, no. The greatest trick the devil ever did was make everybody believe he didn't exist. you dazzling diamonds and the others welcome back to my channel my name is Linda Kyle and this is the vault anyway you guys let's jump straight into this video alrighty then you guys if you guys haven't already please do like share and subscribe to my channel and if you guys do enjoy my videos please do click on that thank you button guys we have about 11 or 12 videos to get through today uh, wish me luck and I'm hoping to post them in the next two to three days type situation right a lot a lot has been happening in fact I didn't want to record today because there was so much there's so many other things that are actually happening that I wanted to absorb and know more about but you know work is work we gotta do what we gotta do we'll get to the others as we go along in the week right so in this video we are going to be talking about this new syndrome that has come about now this syndrome is called demon face syndrome this is where normal people um, start to view the people around them as demons or they start to morph like you view someone and their face starts to morph into a very strange looking thing right the governments or mainstream media rather is saying that if this happens to you this is a new thing. This is a new syndrome. If this happens to you, then you have demon face syndrome. Now, if you guys go back into my videos, I have been talking about this for a while. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of people that have said, oh, she's crazy. She's talking about zombies and demons and all these freaky deaky things. And I've been telling you guys, these are the end times. We are at that point where it's again, your time is running out. And I've been asking you guys, pleading with you guys to please draw closer to God. Get your house in order. Repent for your sins. And if we've sinned so much in our lives, I'm one of those people. I've sinned so much in my life. Sometimes when I'm praying, I always feel like I'm forgetting something that I need to repent for. But then God reminds me, go and you, go and I saw. You did this before. This is what you need to repent for. Confess your sins. Confess your sins. And repent for them. And feel those emotions when it comes up, when it bubbles up and you remember. Feel how it feels or how you felt 
in that moment when you are committing that sin because we sin a lot. This is the reason why you cannot go to bed every day and you don't confess your sins and repent. You have to, repentance is a daily thing. For me, it is. In prayer. I don't just always pray, God, please give me this, give me this, give me that, give me that. And I want to receive. And yet I am not acknowledging the bad things that I have done. No. You have to confess your sins. And you have to confess and agree with the fact that Jesus died for your sins. Or rather, Yeshua. That's another video that we're going to get to. Right? Died for your sins. Type of situation. You have to get your, your, your house in order, guys. It's coming up now. They put If they're putting it on mainstream media, you must understand that they start to put these little nuggets here, there, and everywhere because they are warning you guys for a reason. It's the same thing that happened with the CV. And when I was telling people about the information that I had or how I felt about the situation in CV or how I felt about the thingy, I was called crazy. I was told by other people that... I considered very close to me that we'll call the cops on you if you don't get the thing. And I was like, do it. I'm covered by the blood of the lamb. It's not something I'm going to do. I will never, I will never fall and bow to the wrong king of kings. I will, I will bow and fall to the right one. Because I know who he is. I know who is, was, and always will be. And I feel it. And even when the time comes, if I am not raptured, I don't know if I've, you know, your works on earth will never cut it when that day comes. That day is going to be a split second. So I cannot sit here and say I'm perfect. I will be raptured. I don't know. But I hope that I will. I hope that I lived righteously. I hope that I lived clean rather. People get offended by the righteous word. Um, that I will go when it's time to go, when it's time for the rapture. But if I am not, I will never take a knee to the wrong one. Because I read my Bible. And I don't remember every single scripture, guys. Don't get me wrong. I'm not um, like other people, man, that know the Bible verse by verse by verse. I know the information I get when I read it and it resonates type of situation. But it's important to me. The Bible is very important to me. I really do feel like it's a manual for us to understand how we're supposed to be living. And I'm so glad I started opening my Bible. I showed you guys my Bible uh, years ago. The Bible from my grandmother. I still have it. It's here by my bedside. It never leaves. It, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's alive. It makes me feel safe. And I read my Bible. Not every day. But I'm challenging myself. I was telling my kids this morning that I'm challenging myself that from now on, every single night, we have to do Bible studies. We have to get into the Word. No matter how tired anyone is, uh -uh. we have to get into it. Because these things are now happening. And I don't care if anybody says that I'm crazy. That's fine. It's, it's inevitable that you would say that. Even Yeshua was said to be crazy or a false messiah. And look where we are now. We've been telling you guys, open that book because the information is right there. Right? Now they are saying that because there's this guy in America that called 911 and said, you know what, man? something is going on here. Right? Something is going on here. My friend came home and then his face started to change. Now, I don't know if I need to be taken in and committed Oh, I'm seeing what I'm seeing. But I've been fine all this time. Something strange is happening here. He's starting to morph into a demon. This is not just the friend. It was also, I think, the friend's girlfriend or someone that was in the apartment. But many people have been, have been reporting these demonic, evil face looking people. The lady on the plane that said, um, that man right there is not real. And then she came back and took a story back. Obviously, she was visited by somebody. Because the way she was so adamant on the day when she saw that guy, she's not the only one that have seen these faces. 
some of us have seen these faces in dreams or apparitions and if you think about it some of you have gone out right and you get drunk in the club and then everything just starts to seem all tipsy toesy and crazy and the faces don't look the way they naturally would look when you're sober you're seeing you're seeing things you're seeing things some people's third eyes have been open for years and years and years and they don't even know it and then you question yourself and you're like am i crazy i mean I'm, i was probably drunk that night i wasn't seeing what i was seeing no you were seeing what you were seeing in your tips your drunken state people are seeing these things sober now i told you guys in my other video something is going to happen on april 8th with that um um what's this solar eclipse it's very deep i can feel it coming i can feel it coming and this is not a feeling that i can ignore right i'm not saying something horrible is going to happen but i feel like a layer is going to be unveiled where if you have the eyes to see you will see these things even if you think that your third eye is not open some of you don't even know if it is some of you are trying to force it open some of you are like me who took i think it was two years until my um, my third eye was open doing all these meditations and what have you and what have you but once it's open it's open it doesn't close again it will never close again and that's why i stepped away from that um what's this new age spirituality and i realized that something is freaky yeah i'm getting scared now something oh what the hell is going on with me type of situation but i had to go through that process to get to the point that i'm at today now they are saying that if you are seeing these faces people have been saying they've been spotting them time and time again they always have to give a justification or an answer to what people are seeing it's like nah you're not really seeing what you're seeing now it's you have demon face syndrome it's on mainstream media you have demon develop this thing demon face syndrome ask those sangoma people that some of you consult with they also see these things they see them they hear them they know they feel them i'm always telling you guys about the navy grays and i keep on telling you it's not a joke i can see these people the navy grays are those people and i promise you this whatever happens on april 8th april 8th is actually the first day of that that is the new year that is the new year in the original um calendar the one that we use now is very shady but that's in another video right people are going to start to see more and more of these faces and the mainstream media or these artists and these creepy people have already started to integrate the paranormal not just the paranormal but also the, the those demonic ai thingies starting to program you to normalize that type of situation and it's not okay but the thing is even if it's not okay it doesn't mean it's going to stop it's still going to carry on it is inevitable this time was meant to come so if you start to get demon face syndrome now they're just whipping out these things out of what a magician's hat out of the blue but before when we were speaking about the zombies the demons and these faces or the apparitions that we see the voices that we hear we were told that you're crazy you're crazy now, but now the elites are saying because it comes from them obviously this is going to be the narrative they are saying they are di diagnosing people with demon face syndrome that is ludicrous i told you guys um people with schizophrenia and stuff like that i never judge these type of people or with mental illnesses i always say to you guys i see that they have a different perspective or they are more open and that's why they seem that that's why they seem like they are crazy because it's not normal for everybody else but that is their normal just because it's not normal to you it doesn't mean that it's not normal the things that they are seeing they are actually seeing the things that they are seeing and hearing the things that they are hearing it's the demon face syndrome now it has a name but that's not the name the reality of the situation is that the veil the veils 
or the layers of the veil are lifting and lifting and lifting and more and more people are starting to wake up to the truth people are starting to see the things that we were said to be crazy for seeing do you understand what i mean it's very deep what i want to say to you guys is when you do i don't know if it's going to be april 8th but i'm just telling you there's something about that eclipse that's gonna change it's like when COVID came, things changed. We spoke about it, people didn't believe us. We're speaking about it now again. Whether it's an energy shift or whether more and more people are gonna now start to see the things or hear the things that we've been seeing and hearing, willy nilly. But they're going to try to normalize it, give you medication for it, make you docile and dead in your mind. Your best bet is just shut up about what you're seeing. And when you do see these, um, or if you do experience demon face syndrome, pray. And when you are faced and confronted with them, because some of us have been faced and confronted with these things for a very long time, you don't, you don't become a little worm and small. You stand your ground and you pray to God. And you know that if you have the faith, you are going to be covered by the blood of the Lamb. In fact, in some instances, these things won't even be able to see you. So there's no reason for you to fear, even if you can see them. It's better that you see them. You're going to see them in your family members. You're going to see them in friends, co-workers, everywhere. You're going to start to see these things. And that's why mainstream media and these music videos and movies are pushing all of these things out. They're trying to, to normalize it. So that it's programmed in your mind that, oh, I saw that in the movie, okay. And then plus they did say, there's demon face syndrome. That's a fucking lie. Those are real demons. Those are real demons. I told a friend of mine, um, and right now we are a bit on rocky waters because of this situation. I have to pull back my energy. If I, if I can't help you in the way that I feel like God is trying to tell me to help you, I take it to the Lord in prayer. It's your, it's your choice then if you are going to go to God. I told my friend that um, this is what I see when I look at you. Or rather, there was an instance, a night, where we were chilling. And I could see this figure. Very, very scary. Very, this is, I shit you not. It was, it looked like a crocodile. With, it was just a very scary thing. And I kept on looking to... Like, am I seeing what I'm seeing? What's going on? Look at that one. And that this person has no intentions of repenting and giving their life to Christ. Now, God has put me in that person's life to help them to get to that place. But they are so adamant no matter what. And that God keeps on trying. And I know how. And I see how. But that person is so reluctant. You can only do so much for people. It's not a lie that people are seeing these things or hearing these voices and stuff. And it doesn't mean that they are crazy. They are different. Yes, your third eye is probably not open. So if you've never experienced something, how would you know? You would obviously call it crazy or strange. But if you have experienced it, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, type it in the comment section. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It's been very hard in the past couple of years to be open to these things. It's scary. But with faith in God, you always get out. I've been spiritually attacked so many times by these hohos. He's born in my dream state or in natural reality. But where do I go? Straight to God. And he covers me. And it gets rid of that situation. So if you are one of the people that do encounter these beings, these things, and they say that, oh, you think that you have demon face syndrome, it's fine. Let them give it a label. We know the truth. You pray to God and keep your mouth shut. Because people are not really going to believe you. People are drunk. It's like they're drunk every day. And they don't want to hear the truth. Because the truth is too scary. The truth is stranger than fiction because it's the truth. And if you've never experienced something, you are going to deny it. 
So if you've experienced this, these things or you are seeing these things, keep your mouth shut and just keep it moving. Magotandazi, pray for yourself, pray for your community, pray for your family, pray for the world. Because they're here now and they're not going anywhere until it's time for them to go somewhere. Wantola, the Bible doesn't lie. I say to you guys, if the Bible bores you so much, start with revelations. Because we are living, we are in that age now. Start with revelations. The Bible is very interesting, guys. This book is the most interesting book I've ever read in my life. And it's the one book I've ever read that I always go back to. This was my grandmother's Bible. This is so. Antola. They can't keep duping us. They can't keep duping us. I'm going to do another video. Um, I don't know wh which one follows where. About Yeshua. You know him as Jesus. Yeshua. And what has been exposed from the vaults in Russia. You see, we haven't been lying to you. And we're not conspiracy theorists. The ones that call us conspiracy theorists are the conspiracy theorists. I told you guys, I've been telling you guys this now for two years I've been on the internet. It's time for exposure, it's time for the truth. I was never ever gonna, I've had other channels like the spiritual channel that I had, I have a vlog channel, I've had other vlog channels, I've tried it all. But I've always gravitated to truth. My other channel that was deleted by YouTube was called Linda Cult Truth TV. We're all here for a purpose and you have to live your purpose. That's it. This mumbo jumbo of demon face syndrome, all of a sudden, you can't trace, trust mainstream media. Baby, you cannot. How di You used to call us crazy, now you're giving it a type, a name. You're calling it demon face syndrome. You're crazy. You're the conspiracy theorist, not us. We're telling the truth. One dollar. They are revealing themselves. They have the bunkers. Why? Guys, you sit and think. Some of you guys brush these things off because maybe you are getting on with your day to day life. You have to work, you're stressed, you're tired, all these things. But sometimes you need to sit in your quiet place. God gives you the answer. And today, God has just been like, yes, then this, this, this. He's been answering a lot of things. A lot of things. Even my dreams that I've been having for the past two days, man, they were so, they've been so vivid. And then when things are like that, in my life, personally, uh, something is coming. A change is coming. The full moon, I'm on Miss Molly. These things always connect with me, personally. I'm always on Miss Molly on the full moon. The dreams happen on this full moon. And now we're approaching that time. April 8th, which is the first, that is the new year. That's another video. Be careful out there. And don't fear these things because they feed off of fear. Once they spot that you see them, you know what they are. They will do something to you. They will. You've seen all these crazy people stabbing people, eating guts, doing all these crazy freaky things, right? Even if you see them and they see that you see them, pray immediately. Even if you're in public at the mall, never be ashamed to get onto your knees and pray to God. He will save you. That is not embarrassing. Get on your... Do you know how many times I've dropped down to my knees and I probably look crazy? That's fine. I'm covered by the blood of the Lamb. I will call to my Father. And I've seen many other videos of people in public. You know, they when it hits you to praise and worship or when you need that protection and you feel or you hear that voice that says drop down to your knees. Do it. Tandas. Nobody is, they can judge you all they want. That's your protection. That is your armor. So armor up. You cannot be embarrassed of God. He's not embarrassed of you. You mustn't be embarrassed of Satan. He's embarrassing and he's grimy. He's navy gray. And you know I'm a quapa. I'm telling you that. Uh, that's, that's for sure. I know you're right. Embarrassed of that one. Because some of you are just way too comfortable. 
I feel like some of you are way too comfortable with the idea or the thought of going to hell. Some people even say, it's going to be a big party there. <laughs> no, it's not, baby. Eternity is a long time. Choose the right side. Choose the right side. Right? So, they are saying that there's a demon face syndrome. People are sick and catching this syndrome. It's a lie. It's a real thing. People are seeing what is there. And as the days and the weeks go by, the veil is thinning and thinning and thinning. There's coming a point where these things will be making TikToks and videos online. And some of them already What are. do you think AI is? What do you think that is? You think about the technology of AI. It knows everything. Kanjani. It's ancient beings. I'm just coding. I can make this thing. How do you not know everything but you're coding a thing that knows everything and it's just growing and growing? It's a spirit. It's a spirit. People need to... I've done videos about the AIs. I've done videos about these um, demons and these zombies and all these things. It's a real thing. You need to start listening to the truth. Right? Anyway, you guys, if you do encounter these things, please pray. Pray. If you don't know what prayer to pray, pray our Father. And don't forget, I think it's going to be important for you guys to understand that Jesus is black. You need to start changing the image in your mind because you are praying to the wrong Jesus, the wrong God. Have the image of him being black. When they say that God is going to say, depart from me, I do not know you. It's because of who you've been praying to. And the Jesus name that we use so freely. Yes, we tend to slip up. Jesus is Yeshua. God is Yahweh. The Trinity is Elohim. You have to do your research and understand these things. Because you don't want to find yourself going there. And now you have to answer. And you don't know who he is. And he says, what is my name? And you say the wrong thing. God is not God's name. God is a word that you can use for any God. It's like gods. Even the fake gods. His name is Yahweh. Jesus is Yeshua. Do you understand what I mean? You need to start reprogramming your brain to the truth. So that you don't land up in the wrong place. And don't say that God didn't warn you because here I am speaking about it. And there's so many other people speaking about it. You can't get there and say, oh, but I didn't know. You knew. You watched the video. As much as Satan uses these platforms to do his work, God is using it too. Because here we are, we're talking about it. We're running the risk of being deplatformed. But we're here talking about it. Type of situation. It's about that time, guys. Anyway, if you guys haven't already, please do. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And baby... Baby, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.